Welcome back. In this demonstration, I am going to show you how to fold the Origami Pelican, the designs for which can be found in the book Creative Origami by Kanunko Kasahara. This is a fantastic book, a real classic in the origami world. Um, if you don't already own it, I would highly suggest buying it. Lots of fantastic models. Um, you'll need to start with an origami square, so I'm going to use this A4 piece of paper and turn it into a square to get started. Take this top corner and fold it down so that the top edge of the paper lines up parallel with the side edge of the paper. Once you have that lined up just right, take the paper and crease that valley fold so it goes from corner to corner. Then remove this bottom flap here. You can use that to make another penguin or uh, rather pelican or some other kind of model or you can just recycle it. Then once you have your diagonal from corner to corner we're going to make the origami X. So take this bottom right hand corner fold it up to the top left hand corner and crease that valley fold. Now you'll have two valley folds right from corner to corner intersecting in the center of your paper. Now flip your paper over and take the bottom flat edge and valley fold it up to the top flat edge. Again you'll have a valley fold now intersecting the center of your page right in the middle. Open it up, take the right hand edge and valley fold it over to the left hand edge to create a valley fold intersecting the center vertically. Now you're going to take this paper, twist it, take the two corners on either side and bring them down to the bottom corner like this to create the preliminary base. Now that we have the preliminary base we're going to move on to folding what Kasahara labels the base fold for or it's also known as the bird base. You're going to take the outside edge from here the top flap of it and fold it in towards the center so you have a right acute triangle. Then take this bottom edge here, fold it into the center so again you have symmetry and an acute right triangle. Okay, Now that you've got that folded we're gonna put a valley fold right here from corner to corner from this corner to that corner. First you're gonna open those flaps up Take this top flap of paper and fold it so that our fold line ends right at those two flaps. I'm lifting this paper up. This is called a petal fold. Now you're going to take these two flaps and fold them into the center and recrease those ones like that. Now most of the time you would flap this back down, but for this model we're going to leave it up. Now flip your model over, repeat the same steps, take this outside edge valley fold it into the center so you get an acute right triangle. Okay, Valley fold this outside edge into the center so you have an acute right triangle and crease that valley fold nicely. Then take these two flaps open, open this top piece here so that we get a valley fold right on those corners and then reverse these pieces of paper inside for finishing the petal fold. Now this is what people call the bird base traditionally. Kasahara refers to it as the base fold four. Now I'm going to rotate my model and I'm going to take the top corner here and fold it down and then the back flap back here and fold it back around. What this is going to do, it's going to kind of lock these little leg pieces in place here. And it's going to give you this kite shape here. Now I'm going to rotate my model and this is important to make sure you do it on the right side. Do not do it on the little leg parts here. You're going to take this piece here and valley fold it in towards that center line again. This is going to make a thinner triangle. It should look something like this when you're done. Now take the top one and valley fold it down to meet the center. So we're just making a symmetrical model here. Alright, now 
Next step is to take this piece here and actually fold it inside. You're going to valley fold it. So I'm just going to open it up, take this edge and valley fold it in towards the center. And then I'm going to take this top flap and flip it back down. Okay. Now I'm going to do the same thing at the top. I'm going to open it up, take this edge here, fold it in towards the center. And then take this flap and flap it back. So now we've got those two edges folded inside of our model. Now we're going to take the two leg pieces here. These will end up being the leg. And I'm going to uh, valley fold them, or sorry, inside reverse fold them inside. So we have um, our fold line about there. What you'll want to see is you're going to open this up and reverse this crease inside here. Then once you've got that one reversed inside, you can kind of pull it so that you end up seeing this little triangle bit right there. You just want a little triangle and you want to have it so that it's almost at that edge. About like that. Okay? So it looks something like that. Then do the same thing on the bottom side. Open it up, pull it in so it's an inside reverse fold and angle it so you've got an almost triangle here like this. You want it to just about meet that corner. Okay? And it's going to look something like this when you're done. It almost kind of looks like uh, an X-Wing fighter or something if you put it this way. Um, but this is what we want now. Now we're going to take this edge here. We're going to do a mountain fold from about here up to here. This is going to end up being the foot up there and we want to fold that little flap of paper inside. So I'm going to mountain fold it down and inside like that. Okay, And that's kind of what it should look like there. Now I'm going to take this corner and do the same thing. Mountain, actually I'm going to valley fold it I suppose. Valley folding it inside so that it's uh, the same. Okay, we want it to be uh, exactly the same. So it should look something like that on the inside, that from the top, and that from the bottom. Okay, now repeat the same thing on this side. Um, you're going to mountain fold the top, So that it looks like that. And then take the bottom flap and valley fold it so that it is the same as the top. Okay, that's what it should look like when you're done. Now you're going to take these two flaps and you're going to inside reverse fold them again. If you divide this area from here to here in half, you want your fold line to be in between those two pieces. So I'm going to open this flap up and I'm going to inside reverse this. Okay, and then I'm just going to pull it so it's the right direction. And so that the valley fold or the inside reverse fold falls right on that line. Okay, now I'm going to do the same thing for uh, the next part. Actually, I want this to be a little bit more pointing backwards. It should be about like this. Okay? It should be kind of pointing almost halfway between this line, pointing backwards that way. Okay? Now, one more, same thing on this side. You're going to take this one, uh, inside reverse fold it back so that it's about halfway between and you want them to be as symmetrical as possible. Okay. Once you get those two pieces as symmetrical as possible, you're going to take this whole top piece 
and valley fold it down the center like so and if you need to at this point readjust these two so that they're the same you can see mine are off so I'm just gonna grab this one push my valley push my inside reverse fold back just a hair and readjust it kind of pivot fold it so it's in the right place okay now those two legs are at the same place now you're gonna take um, an inside reverse fold and the idea here is you're gonna want this bottom edge to be vertical about right here so that there's a perpendicular line right there so I'm gonna take this and valley fold it back so that it's vertical here and then I'm gonna open that piece up and outside reverse fold it so that that line is here and you'll see these two little pieces up here are kind of pulling apart that's alright they're gonna eventually come apart anyways but I want to try to keep them together as best as I can okay so I'm gonna kind of force that paper together okay it should look something like that now the next couple inside and outside reverse folds are a little tricky just because you want to keep them going the same direction. I'm going to try to get my fold about there so that the um, this outside edge here is going to kind of come on a little slight diagonal. So I'm going to just inside reverse fold this piece of paper and I want to have just a little bit of space like that and kind of looking looking at the diagram and knowing how it's supposed to line up and kind of the spaces in between is the real key for this one now that was an inside reverse fold should look something like that when you're done now we're gonna do another inside reverse fold so basically the next piece is gonna be vertical yet again this is gonna be the neck piece so I'm gonna inside reverse fold and I'm gonna do it so that this line here almost runs into this outside line here and is uh, pretty much parallel to that inside line okay now our last outside reverse fold this is for the head I'm gonna do it so that this head piece is just kind of on a little upper diagonal here okay I'm gonna out um, outside reverse fold this so that the head is kind of like this. Okay, so I'm going to open this piece up. Outside reverse fold it. Like that. Okay, now you can see we have the top of the bill and the bottom of the bill. Next, I'm going to work on the feet here. The feet however you want them is up to you and that will kind of depend on how your model sits uh, in the directions he has you um, basically put a vertical line like if you have this horse this the back piece horizontal the directions show a parallel or a perpendicular fold this way so if you take this foot and inside reverse fold it this direction you can just kind of see how you want it and this little piece here should f fit flat on the floor or the ground table okay so this piece here will sit on the ground then I'm going to valley fold this valley and inside reverse fold this other one so it matches so from the back here it looks and then I'm going to push that so it's exactly the same and then pinch that to crease it and if you look at it now it, it should stand up like so all right now let's finish the head all right the first part is I'm going to take the top piece here and I'm going to I'm just going to kind of separate them a little bit and I want this top piece I'm going to valley fold it this direction and then reverse fold this direction so I can make um, and up inside pleat fold here. I'm gonna see that zigzag 
there. I'm going to unfold it and I'm going to open this piece up and inside pleat fold it. So this first crease and second crease go like that. Okay, so you can see that little. Sorry, paper, paper's getting kind of smaller. There you go. So you can see that inside uh, pleat fold. And that's going to be the top of the head. And then the for the bottom of the pelican here, this is the tricky part. Yeah, and take this bottom flap and pull it out and down. Pull the other side of the flap out and down. So you're like kind of creating this pocket. And pinch these two together as you kind of reposition the beak down. Okay, and now you'll see inside of here, these two flaps are uh, folded inside. You're going to again take these open. And you can kind of stick your finger inside of there and like round out that piece of paper like so and that kind of creates that pocket part of the pelican now if you crease that back down to kind of create that headpiece a little better there we go you've got the head and the mouth kind of working together there okay so there is the pelican designed by Kanunko Kasahare in his book, Creative Origami. Really great model. Starts with the bird base and the last little piece here where you open up that mouth is uh, really cool and essential for the model.